Bonjour, buenos dias, magandang umaga. Welcome to my Chamber of Chakras. And thank you for joining me on another episode of Astro Affirmation for December 19th, 2023. Transcendental Tuesday peeps. Yes, it is. Because we woke. Oh, yeah. We are conscious of the illusion of separation. We are one. We are aware that we see in the external world the reflection of the condition of our internal world. We know that the kingdom of God is within us and we can enter the gate of his temple with thanksgiving anytime anytime god's tabernacle is a pure heart the bible says in gospel of matthew chapter 5 verse 8 blessed are those who are pure in heart for they shall see god this is my favorite beatitude, the sixth one out of eight. Six is the number of human beings. Yes, Genesis 126 says, Then God said, Let us make humans in our image according to our likeness. Genesis 127 says, So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Right? And so where is my, Genesis, my Gemini? Male and female, he created them. And then in Genesis 2, 7, it says, Then the Lord God formed man of dust. From the ground. Genesis 5 1 says, He made them in the divine likeness. Each one of us humans is a drop of the spring of water welling up to eternal life. You and I are each flames from the same ocean of fire. We are connected by the Spirit of God dwelling in each of us. We all came from the earth and the stars. Our physical bodies will return to dust and our spirits will live together forever in heaven. Yes, we are both carnal and divine. Polar opposites that are one and the same. We are multidimensional spiritual beings in physical form. So let's sing our theme song to celebrate this unity in diversity. Join me, grab a cup of 
whatever. And let's spill some tea. <laughs> yes, so art, the floor installer didn't show up yesterday. So the stairs had a few steps that are like halfway done. But this morning he showed up. Yes, he had a black eye. He said that yesterday he was assaulted by this homeless guy who was trying to rob him. Yeah, poor thing, he has a black eye. Yeah, so he's completing the stairs. It's probably complete by now, but man, you should see the downstairs. It's like a brand new house down there. Oh yeah, so glad to be rid of that cruddy carpeting that we've had for decades. I'm so thankful that Art is okay, despite his injury. I'm glad he can still see out of that one eye, you know. Yeah. And he said that was the only thing that was harmed in his body. So he was able to show up today. Otherwise, he wouldn't be here to finish the job he started, right? I do appreciate his dedication to his work. Oh, yeah, you can tell he loves it. Yeah. Like I said before, from one artist to another, art's work is truly a work of art, and I mean that literally and figuratively. Yeah. He brought his son, Jesus, with him today. A handsome young man, 14 years old, helping his dad with carpentry and the cutting wood and stuff. That reminds me of Joseph and Jesus, right? Yeah. The next generation picks up where we leave off. Yeah, that's how it is. So plant good seeds so they will grow into trees of love, light, and life. Okay? Yeah. My eldest son, Anthony Patrick Conley, a.k.a. Ant, from Ant's Barbecue Cookout, or BBQ Cookout is how he spells it in his YouTube channel. <clears throat> He'll be here with his family tomorrow morning. He has their arriving at the Ontario airport um, tomorrow morning. The man is gonna pick them up from work. So excited to be with them again. Lily and Lulu, Lola is ready to Anaconda squeeze you. <laughs> Anaconda squeeze. <laughs> that was started back when my youngest son, Zachary, was about their age now, like two or three. Yeah, we watched um, Nacho Libre, right? You know, that the wrestler, Jack Black. And his partner, his tag team, Esqueleto. Anyway. Yeah, we got that from Anaconda Squeeze. I used to um, give him like a really, really tight hug back when he was like three or four um, years old, kind of like my grandchildren now. Yeah, and now I'm passing it on to my grandchildren. You know, Anaconda Squeeze. Yeah, I love my grandchildren so much. Makes me cry. Anyway, mi nuera, mijita, Cindy Conley, aunt's wife, is pregnant again. So next year, 2024, we will have another addition to our growing family. <laughs> oh, and I want to share two more mandalas I crocheted with Wizard of Loops on YouTube. Yeah. They've been on the, the walls of the man cave, previously known as my inner sanctum. I've crocheted them into these hoops. 
that I got from Amazon. Is this the right way? No. This way. Yeah. So I can give them away for Christmas. This one is called Ponsetia. Ponsetia. And then this one here, I can't remember the name of this pattern, but it's on Wizard of Loot's channel on YouTube. Yeah, I put them, I crocheted them into these hoops, ready for gifting, for Christmas gifting. Oh yeah. Yeah, I love making those. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, it rained here while I was sleeping and it doesn't look like it's finished. Dark clouds looms the sky over a big blue house today. But today is Tuesday. Yes, Martes, ruled by the planet of action, Mars. Sagittarius season ends in two days on the winter solstice, December 21st, the first day of winter, when the Earth's pole is at its maximum tilt away from the sun. The shortest day and the longest night of the year. Yes, the time of ending and beginning. Time of death and rebirth. A time of transformation by the renewing of your mind and the reviving of love, hope, and joy in your heart. To be born again <clears throat> in the spirit, right? See the glyph of Sagittarius? right? Yeah. So make the most of the energy of today to take action on what you believe in. Okay. The Bible says in James chapter two, verse 26, for as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Right? So put your faith to work. Shine your light for all to see God's Shekinah glory in you and through you. You dig? Yeah. Tuesday is the day to get shit done. Time to um, put the emotional tone that we set yesterday and get that energy in motion today. You know, like in volleyball, Monday is like the setting in the sport volleyball. You know, setting in volleyball, right? You make a triangle, right? With, on the ball, with your, right? It's like you position the ball like right here in front of your forehead. To me, that's the Holy Trinity triangle, right? Polar opposites in one energetic field focused on the third eye for wisdom and intuition, right? That's how I see it. So today we make contact with the ball right? In the direction of our target. Get small. <laughs> okay. So launch your project and make your decisions to get that ball rolling or bouncing, whatever you want to call it. But whatever you do, don't drop the ball. No, no, no. Get in tune with your heart. What do you truly desire? What lights you up? Get clear about what your passion is and take the steps to make it happen. Yes, Sagittarius. It's the ninth, the ninth sign on the zodiac wheel. Let's see if I can find my zodiac wheel here. Let's 
see? It's right here. Here's Aries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sagittarius is the ninth sign of the zodiac wheel, the believer in higher power. Ruled by Jupiter, the planet of expansion, growth, abundance, fortune, and luck. Yeah, so take your arrow, right, and knock it in the crossbow of Christ consciousness. Aim and fire, fire, fire for the Lord. Aim high, aim straight. Reach for the sky with your feet grounded on earth as the root chakra rules the day. The root chakra is the first spinning sphere of energy in our current that we need to open, activate, and balance to enter the gate of the tabernacle of God in our core. In Sanskrit, the root chakra is called muladhara. Literally, it means root flux the base of our spine, where the flow of energy from the earth enters to rise to the higher chakras and open the crown chakra to connect with God. In turn, the crown chakra receives pure consciousness to flow down the electromagnetic current of our life force. So the integration process of our dual nature, our physical and spiritual nature, begins at the root chakra, the foundation of existence, steps up to the sacral chakra, the passion of the Christ, the solar plexus, the power of the sun, S-O-N, to proclaim the good news with boldness and self-confidence in the love of God, rising to the heart chakra, the sacred heart of Jesus, to bridge the gap between heaven and earth, reconciling carnality with divinity, right? Reconciling God with man, man with God resurrecting the dead to worship and praise God at the throat chakra in prayer and meditation at the third eye chakra and then connecting with God at the crown chakra, the mercy seat of the Ark of the Covenant where we find forgiveness and grace. Amen? Oh yeah. It's like that fresco painting of Michelangelo called The Creation of Adam. You know, it's on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel in the Vatican City in Rome. Yeah. God and man touching their four fingers together. I see that as the heart chakra, uniting our physicality with our spirituality, lightening up the density of earth energy by blending it with the Holy Spirit to rise like a phoenix from the ashes of the ancient ruins of our past to live in the moment, to be in the forever now. That's all you have is now. So stop looking outside of you for the answers. You know, 
Look inside, pause for a moment periodically throughout your day in your activities to look within first. Yes, you have everything you need already stored in here. Yes, phenomenal cosmic powers. Yes, itty bitty living space. Yes, we are genies. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his holy name. Psalm 104, 100, chapter 100, verse 4. Okay, so the root chakra color is red, blood red, DNA, our genetic code handed down to us from generation to generation, all buried six feet under solid ground, returned to earth, our foundation, the tree of life. Yeah, I have an illustration of the tree of life that I want to share with you. I can find it. <coughs> yes, here it is. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it's like our family tree. Okay, this tree of life, right? Our family tree are like the roots. Yeah, I have it upside down because I believe that our ancestors buried deep inside the earth and are here, right? So the family tree should start at the root, right? And our descendants rising up to take our place on the surface of the earth, branching out towards the sky. And this, I see it as a portrayal of spirit from the sky becoming flesh, right? From the heavens to be born human, right? And traveling one's own hero's journey through the branches, right? Merging as all roads lead to one highway towards physical death, which starts the cycle of life all over again to infinity and beyond. Yeah, I hung a tree of life tapestry to cover the arch doorway of the man cave. Let me show you real quick. Man cave is over there. Hope you can see it. Oh yeah, here it is. Do you see the tapestry? It's right there. Okay, that's the man cave there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for privacy, right? And aesthetics. It glows in the dark, so cool. When you turn off all the lights, you know, when we're about to go to sleep. Yeah, it glows in the dark, the tree of life. <laughs> yeah, my bedroom suite looks like a harem, lol. Okay, so the root chakra symbol is a lotus flower with four petals, okay? representing the four main aspects of the human psyche, mind, intellect, consciousness, and ego. Mice in the labyrinth of the brain. I remember my son, Jim, when he was in the first grade, I think, he said in one of the home videos, oh, I took a whole bunch of home videos when my kids were, were little. You have a collection of them. But in one of the home videos, my son, Jim, who is now like 25, I think. Yeah, he said, Mr. Clark in my brain. So cute. Mr. Clark was his first grade teacher. 
Yeah. So anyway, the root chakra is the origin of consciousness. Okay. We become aware of our existence at the base of the spine with earth as our foundation. That's the element of the root chakra, earth. Yeah, we are anchored firmly on the ground as a tree is planted by its roots. BTW, did you get a chance to listen to I Am A Tree by Imani Coppola? Yeah, you should. It stirs up joy in my soul, you know, to take on the consciousness of a tree. Have you ever done that? Yeah, or any creation for that matter, you know, just like, I do a lot of that kind of thought experiments, like, because I'm, I'm a spiritual scientist. That's how I would categorize me. You know, when I'm out there on the balcony, I'll be like smoking and I'll be like imagining that I'm one of the birds on the wire, you know, and looking at the world in their perspective. Yeah, I, I talk to my pecan tree out there, I have a giant pecan tree that's like hovers, the branches hovers over the balcony. Yeah, yeah, old pecan tree shows me how it is to be a vegetation. Yes, so you should try it sometime. It's fun. Anyway, the sacred geometry in the center of the root chakra symbol is a cube. Because the cube is a sacred geometry for Earth. Okay? But here on my chakra shawl, since it's a flat surface, it shows up as a square. And that's also the symbol for the root chakra. You know, because square is a geometrically solid shape, right? It's like the foundation of geometry, really, right? Because it contains four corners, as in the four corners of the earth, north, south, east, west. Also, the four earthly elements, water, fire, air, and earth, right? The root chakra is the birthplace of the soul. Yeah, it governs the four primal urges, like hunger, right? Um, the need to sleep, the need for sex and self-preservation. Yeah, root chakra. It's the first dimension of the lower three chakras. Okay, first dimension, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh dimension. You can go to all those dimensions within you through your chakras. Yeah. <clears throat> so, as you can see here, these three lower chakras is what I call the soul because they deal with the physical aspects of our human nature. They are the egoic part of us that protects our existence on this earthly plane, okay? The three lower chakras is, it powers our survival instincts to meet our basic needs like food, water, air, and shelter, right? The root chakra is the base of our life force energy it links our inner world to the outer world, earth energy to physical matter. Get small? I hope so. If not, please do your own research and correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe we are earth bound by the root chakra as it provides a strong foundation to support our bodies. Yeah, the Kundalini, divine feminine energy, lies at the root chakra. Yeah. 
the plug to earth energy. Wake it up. Power on the electromagnetic current in your core by grounding yourself to Mother Earth. Kundalini, rise and connect to Father Sky. The seed mantra for the root chakra is LAM. L A M. LAM. The sound vibration that stimulates earth energy and turns on kundalini energy. Yes, the hand position is thumb and four fingers like this. You see this illustration, the outline of the human body. You see how she's in a lotus position and she's got her hand position for the root chakra there. Okay, so Lum, lum, okay? Yeah, begin again. Start from the bottom and work your way up. There's no shortcut to perfection. Can't rush it, can't rush it. Meditate, it's easy. You don't have to go anywhere or do anything except close your eyes, that's it. Yes, exit the external world and go within. Yum. Relax your mind and body by slowing down your thoughts with deep breathing. With your eyes closed, inhale and exhale slowly and deeply first three in through the nose out through the mouth and then after you start getting relaxed you can just breathe normally just through your nose and as you're doing that just observe your thoughts going through your mind just observe them without judgment right in the stillness Chant the mantras for all seven chakras to open, activate, and balance all your primary energy centers. And flow energy from below to above and above to below, within and without your being. Stay in that sacred space where there is no sense of self, just a state of being one in all and all in one yeah visualize to materialize download inspirations and manifest heaven on earth as i am <laughs> i leave you now with these bible passages to reflect on today first corinthians chapter 3 verses 10 through 11 According to the grace of God given to me, like a skilled master builder, I laid a foundation and someone else is building upon it. Let each one take care how he builds upon it, for no one can lay a foundation other than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 16. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. And in Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 through 27. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell. And great 
was the fall of it. So build your house on the rock, Jesus Christ, who laid that solid foundation for humankind. Okay? That's all I have for you today. And once again, I honor God in you and me. Namaste.